लेक्चर टू टूडेज टॉपिक इज फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी इफ यू वन यू टू यू एम आर एम फंक्शन ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स एन यू वन इज ऑल्सो फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स एन यू टू इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू एन एंड यू एम इज अ फंक्शन ऑल्सो फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स एन देन द फंक्शन यू वन यू टू यू एम आर सेट टू बी फंक्शनली डिपेंडेंट इफ देर एग्जिस्ट अ रिलेशन बिटवीन यू वन यू टू यू एम इफ सच रिलेशन एग्जिस्ट between the functions u1 u2 um then the function u1 u2 um are said to be functionally dependent also if there is no such relation then the functions are called as functionally independent for example if u is equal to x v is equal to x q then we can easily see, see that u cube minus v that is x cube minus x cube equal to 0 so u cube minus v equal to 0 this is the relation between u and v as the relation exists therefore u and v are functionally dependent functions but if we could not find this relation then they are known as functionally independent now one theorem is there without proof there are n functions u1 u2 un of n independent variable x1 x2 xn u1 is also function of x1 x2 xn u2 also and un also then they are called as functionally dependent if jacobian of u1 u2 un with respect to x1 x2 xn equal to 0 this condition is of if and only if if jacobian is 0 then the function u1 u2 un are functionally dependent and if the functions are functionally dependent then the jacobian is equal to 0 now let's start with the exercise 1.1 question number 2 show that the function u is equal to x plus 2y plus z v is equal to x minus 2y plus 3z w is equal to 2xy minus xz plus 4yz minus 2z square are functionally dependent we have to show that these u v w three functions which are function of x y z are functionally dependent so to check the functionally dependent condition we have with this theorem that if these functions are functionally dependent then their jacobian is zero and if the jacobian is zero they are functionally dependent so we find the jacobian of u v w with respect to x y z which is equal to derivative of u with respect to x 1 derivative of u with respect to y 2 derivative of u with respect to z 1 derivative of v with respect to x 1 with respect to y is minus 2 with respect to z is 3 now derivative of w with respect to x is 2y minus z with respect to y 2x plus 4z and with respect to z is minus x plus 4y minus 4z determinant 
Now we find the determinant of this 3 cross 3 matrix. It comes out to be 0. Solve it yourself. It is a 3 cross 3 matrix. You just need to find the determinant. But the determinant will be 0. If determinant is 0, means Jacobian is 0. And if Jacobian is 0, we have a theorem that if Jacobian of the functions are 0, then the functions are functionally dependent. So we can say that u, v, w are functionally dependent. If they are dependent, then we need to find the relation. That what is the relation between u, v and w. Now let's find the relationship between u, v, w, u. B W. Now find the relationship between U V W. There is no rule to find the relationship between U V W. You just have to hit and try these. Any of the relation can be there. So first we take U square. U square is X plus two Y plus Z square equal to x square plus 4y square plus z square plus 4, 2 4xy plus 4yz plus 2zx now we find v square x minus 2y plus 3z square equal to x square plus 4y square plus 9z square minus 4xy minus 12yz plus 6xz. Now we subtract these two terms u square minus v square. We get minus 8z square plus 8xy plus 16 yz minus 4x z taking 4 common we get 2xy minus xz plus 4yz minus 2z square now this term is equal to w 4 W. So the relationship between u v w is u square minus v square equal to 4 w. In all the questions of the exercise, first we will find the Jacobian to check whether they are functionally dependent or not. If Jacobian turns out to be 0, then the functions are functionally dependent. Then only we will find the relation. If the Jacobian is known 0, then the functional are functions are functionally independent and no relationship can be found between u v w so first check the jacobian jacobian will tell you the functions are dependent or independent if dependent then find the relationship and for relationship there is no no rule you just have to try them and find a relationship and if Jacobian turns out to be non-zero, then they are functionally independent. If functionally independent, no relation will exist. Now to question number 8 of the exercise. Show that ax square plus 2h xy plus by square and a capital A x square plus 2 capital H x y plus B y square are functionally functionally independent unless A by capital A equal to B by capital B equal to H by capital H. If this relation is there then these two functions are functionally dependent otherwise they are independent we find the derivative of let's take this function as u this as v u v derivative uh, Jacobian with respect to x and y which is equal to u with x u with x is 2a x plus 2h y u with y is 2h x plus 2b y now v with x is 
टू ए एक्स प्लस टू एच वाई वी विद वाई एस टू एच एक्स प्लस टू बी वाई डिटर्मिनेंट फाइंड द डिटर्म गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द डिटर्मिनेंट एंड टू दिस विल बी फोर ए एक्स प्लस एच वाई एंड टू एच एक्स प्लस बी वाई माइनस फोर टाइम्स एच एक्स प्लस बी वाई इंटू ए एक्स प्लस एच वाई फोर कॉमन मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस टर्म वी गेट ए एच एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी एक्स वाई प्लस एच एच एक्स वाई प्लस बी एच वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एच एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एच एच एक्स वाई माइनस बी एक्स वाई माइनस बी एच वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फोर टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर टर्म्स कॉमन ए एच माइनस एच ए एक्स स्क्वायर दिस प्लस एच बी माइनस बी एच वाई स्क्वायर दिस टर्म प्लस ए बी माइनस बी ए so we have jacobian of u with respect to x y equal to 4 into a h minus h a x square plus h b minus b h y square plus a b minus b a x y now for u and v to be function to be functionally dependent jacobian of u v with respect to x y must be Zero. So we take this quantity as zero. Four a h minus h a x square plus h b minus b h y square plus a b minus b a x y equal to zero. Four cannot be zero, so this bracket must be zero. This for this bracket to be zero, x square, y square, and x into y they can't be zero. So these terms to be zero, these coefficients to be zero. So we get a h minus h a equal to zero, h b minus b h capital H it is equal to zero, a b minus b a equal to Zero. From here we get a by capital A is equal to h by capital H. This implies h by capital H is equal to b by capital B, and this implies a by capital A is equal to b by capital B. From here we can conclude that. A by A is equal to B by B equal to H by H. So we can say that if this relationship exists, then U and V are functionally dependent. Otherwise, they are functionally independent. A complete exercise. One point two. Total eight questions are there. Thank you.